Hello, thanks for taking this tour of the Pegasus Accelerator plugin. I'm just going to walk you through the interface. There's quite a bit here. Uh, there's not much that you really need to touch, but I'm going to walk you through it anyways. Up at the top here, we have a toggle button. When you click this, you can throw it into diagnostic mode. If for whatever reason there's maybe a, um, a conflict with a plugin that you have in your site and your site is maybe not displaying well, you can throw it into diagnostic mode and then notify us by our contact page and we can investigate. Um, generally speaking, this is just left enabled. Right in the middle, you're seeing your page speed score, or rather the page speed score for this demo. This, the uh, default is showing the mobile page speed score. Uh, you can take a look at the desktop if you wish, uh, but mobile is really where we want to focus in on. Uh, this number here is the page speed score before any accelerations were applied, and then this, of course, is the change. You can hover over anywhere you see a little question mark, and you will have an explanation of what this little widget is all about. You'll see that uh, the number of pages you have optimized and the number of pages that you have acceleration enabled on uh, right next to that. Below you'll see six different metrics. You may have heard of time to first byte. That's the time it takes for the server to respond with your HTML web page. First contentful paint is when the browser first renders part of the uh, page. First meaningful paint is a little bit longer, but essentially it's, it's another metric within the web browser. First CPU idle is when all of your JavaScript has pretty much finished parsing and any uh, additional resources have finished loading into the page. Speed index is uh, more or less akin to the fully loaded time. And then time to interactive is uh, when the page becomes loaded enough to be um, interacted with by the end user. Of course, now these metrics are different here uh, for mobile as they are for desktop. For desktop, of course, they're going to be a lot lower because the connection speed to the internet is much faster. And the mobile CPU is, of course, slower than the desktop CPU. These are just for informatives, but you may find that yours will show uh, black or red if there's a high value here. Below you'll find, by default, the page scores. Now this is a list of your pages that have been optimized that have page speed scans applied to them. In this column you'll see the page speed score for your page before acceleration, and then over here in the right you'll see it after. Okay. You'll see little menu buttons to the right of each of these. You can click, you can initiate a rescan request, and that probably takes a minute, or five, or fifteen, depends on how many uh, are queued in our API, but generally speaking it's under a minute. You can actually independently scan this with Google PageSpeed Insights, and it'll open up another tab. You can also independently scan with the GT Metrics. Now keep in mind GT Metrics version of PageSpeed is different than the Google PageSpeed Insights, which is what we use. We use the scores available from the version 5 PageSpeed Insights. For the accelerated page, you can perform the same. You can initiate a rescan or scan independently just to confirm uh, by opening up a new window of the Google Page Speed Insights URL with your page. Or you can scan it independently with GT Metrics. Now one thing to note is that occasionally you may find a score that is lower than perhaps the average. And it may be that for whatever reason the network connection to your website might have been slow. You can always, of course, rescan to confirm that. Over here you will find a checkbox that will give you a brief indication of what may be affecting your page speed score. You can click that, it opens up, it pretty much says that you've got a 98 out of 100, that's very, very good. Uh, the only thing that it says that we're getting information back from Google Page Speed Insights is that perhaps not all static assets have a efficient cache policy. In any case, if you have 98, you're pretty much doing very well. Over in this column, you'll see the status of whether or not the page has been optimized. You can click this and purge your optimized page cache. This will put this into a state where it says it has not yet been optimized. You have the ability to have auto crawl enabled uh, in the settings tab. And if that happens over a course of time, your pages will be automatically optimized provided there are credits available. Your credits are listed just up in this area here. You can, of course, explicitly request the optimization of that page. 
Now that means that it's in progress. It does not automatically refresh in this interface at this time when it has been completed, although within a minute it likely has been completed and you can refresh this interface and you'll find that the check box or the check mark is green. You can click here to open up this page. However, when you are logged in via WordPress as a WordPress user, opening it up within a the browser that has been logged into WordPress, you will not see the optimizations. But it does give you a quick link. You can, if you wish, copy that link address and open up the page in an incognito br browser or a different browser. Say if you're using Chrome, you can open up in, in Firefox uh, to view your optimized page. All right. And then moving on, um, of course, these options are self-explanatory. If you have more than uh, 25 results per page, you can scroll through uh, to the next page there. The settings tab lists all the different settings that you can change with Pegasus Accelerator. Now, by default, we have the optimum settings enabled. However, you may choose to change some of these. We recommend that probably the only items that you would change may be the defer unused CSS. This one feature is relatively new to the plugin. It is something that can affect your front end view of your page. If your page is not rendering 100%, uh, you can do two things. You can either turn off this feature or you can exclude a style sheet from being deferred. So what this function does is it basically stops the loading of any style sheets into your page. Now that's fine because we also include and inject the critical CSS required to render the page. It means that the page load is very fast. But there may be aspects of your page that did not get detected by the critical CSS engine in which case you may need to load in a particular style sheet. And so to do that while having all the rest of your style sheets still deferred, you can type in the name of the style sheet. For example, if you had one called style.css, you could do that. Or if one called uh, bootstrap, you can do that and hit save. Apart from that, that's the only feature that we would probably recommend you play with uh, at this point if you are having problems uh, with any of the rendering. If you do have any issues at all, by all means contact us um, through our support page and we are happy to investigate, especially if something isn't rendering quite right. Uh, we're committed to making sure that our plugin works with as many pages as possible. Uh, on the account tab, you will see um, a little bit about you, if you wish, you can always um, change your plan from the guest plan uh, and upgrade. Um, and then once you upgrade, you can always hit the uh, update button here and that will update your settings and your um, your plan in this plugin. We have an FAQs tab, pretty straightforward, answers a couple frequently asked questions. Troubleshooting as well. Uh, if you run into any sort of um, troubleshooting issues, you can read through this and read through our responses in our articles. On our Tools tab, you can bulk accelerate or decelerate um, different pages or post types. In this particular site, we only have pages and posts, but if you had custom post types, you could enable or disable them all as well. And of course, we also have a brand new tab here called Changelog. This is just a list of all of our different versions that we've had over the course of the last while. Uh, you could expand to read more about each one, watch a video if you wish, uh, as a summary of what we've been working on. Now, the Pegasus features aren't just limited here. You can also go to uh, your pages. And you will find that uh, on the right-hand side, there are a list of columns. Now, it may be that these are not enabled. You can always enable them by going to Screen Options and then adding in Accelerated Performance Score, Mobile Time to Interactive, and Optimize. This here is your toggle for whether or not the page acceleration is turned on. Uh, once a, a page speed scan has been completed, uh, it will show the uh, page speed score here and then the um, what we call the time to interactive here as well. This will show on uh, the pages and the posts. 
or any custom post types. You can also clear cache or request it to be optimized right away. There are bulk actions available for you as well. From this menu here, you can enable acceleration, disable acceleration, optimize now, or clear cache on any of those resources. Up at the top, you will find a uh, menu that describes a summary of your PageSpeed score for your site. You also find uh, a list of your page optimizations. If you wish to clear the cache, you can do so here. Uh, you will have minified content within your site as well. You can delete the cache, delete CSS, and any image cache that you have. Now, of course, uh, you may have a limit on the number of images that are included with the guest API. So uh, if you are moving in on the uh, upper limit, you may wish to upgrade your plan. And that's more or less the tour for the Accelerator plugin dashboard for version 2.2.10, I believe is the current version. Um, please let us know if you have any questions, if you run into any problems, or even if you're really enjoying the plugin. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.